Hey there, thank you for watching this clip on symmetry of graphs and functions. This is the second portion of two-part series. Let's get started. I listed three equations here. Uh, not all equations are functions. Remember what we said earlier in part one, it depends on the symmetry. So let's get started here and then I'll give us a cheat sheet, sheet almost. At zero, zero here. So with respect to x-axis, when we check for symmetry, we're going to use minus y to replace for y. Okay, the curve looks like this. So basically we're saying if I take two mirror image of y values, do I get the same x or not? Okay. On the y-axis, we're going to replace minus x to the x. And graphically, this is what's happening. If I take two twin value of x-axis, do I get the same y value? And for 0, 0, we do both. We use minus x to replace x, and minus y to replace y. And we want to see if this curve folds itself when you rotate it. Okay, so here's x, here's y. So let's take a look at our first example. We have an equation in that 3y cubed equal to 4x cubed plus 2. So let's try it. Let's replace minus y to, to y. So this is against the x-axis. Let's take a look if it's symmetrical or not. We have a minus y, 3 times cubed, equal to 4x cubed plus 2. And then we have minus 3y cubed equal to 4x cubed plus 2. We were not able to recover what we started with. Okay, so the answer is not with respect to uh, y, the x-axis. Right. Let's try next one. Let's replace minus x to x. So we have 3y cubed equal to 4 minus x cubed plus 2. Then we have 3y cubed equal to minus 4x cubed plus 2. So we didn't get back what our original equation was. So it's not with respect to y axis either. Let's try one more. Uh, minus x to x minus y to uh, y. Let's see what we have. So we have 3 times minus y cubed okay, equal to 4 times minus x cubed plus 2. Now without the x2 here, we actually will get back to where we started. But with the linear term here, we got stuck in the sense that we can't recover what we had before. So we couldn't recover the original equation. So not with respect to origin either. Okay, let's move on to second one where we have a circle actually essentially. Example two says we have x squared plus y squared equal to one. Now graphically wise, of course, we'll see this has symmetry all around it because the circle center at 0, 0 with a radius of 1. So let's try that first one. Minus y replaced the y. So I have x squared plus minus y squared equal to 1. And lo and behold, we got what we have before. So yes, with respect to x-axis. Okay, So it, it, it is symmetrical. Let's do the next one. Minus x replace x. I have minus x squared plus y squared equal to 1. Simplify. I got exactly what I had back in again. Okay, so yes again. And then the minus x to x minus y to y. And I have minus x squared plus minus y squared equal to 1, which is exactly the same what I had before. So with respect to 0, 0, yes, it is indeed symmetrical. So example 2, that's a just completely opposite of example 1. Uh, Example 3, we actually have a function here, x1 minus x squared. This is actually an interesting one. It's specified as function, so we know it's not going to be symmetrical against uh, with respect to x-axis because this, uh, this one goes against the definition, the very definition of function. So let's replace this one as standard form. We're going to try it. So we're going to replace minus y to y. 
and then we have minus y equal to x, y minus x squared, and we couldn't get our original form back because here is minus x, y minus x squared. That's not what we had before. So not with respect to x axis, which is a good thing because consistently this is not a function. And we started off with a function here. Uh, let's do the next one, minus x to x, and then I have y is equal to minus x here, y minus minus x squared, and then I have y equal to minus x, and 1 plus x squared. Okay. This one does not give us what we needed to have, so not with respect to y-axis either. Right, so it's basically the same. It's not an even function. A even function is the one that folds along y-axis right on back to it itself. Now one more to go. Minus x to x minus y to y. Let's see what we have. So we have minus y equal to minus x radical y minus minus x squared. Minus cancel each other. We have y equal to x, y minus x squared. So indeed this one is symmetrical with respect to 0, 0. And this by definition is actually an odd function. Alright, so I hope this helped you. This is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. As always, I love to hear about your math questions. Till next time, have a confident day.